Welcome back. High school students are being urged this, this year to fill out applications for federal student aid as soon as possible. KTBS Jordan Barr explains why the state and federal governments are both pushing so hard for this. Possible for prospective college students by providing a service that can substantially help in paying for all those fees that come with getting a college education. They do this through the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA. Soon to be college students are encouraged to fill out this application as soon as they can to obtain the best form of financial aid suited for their situation. However, the priority deadlines are quickly approaching. Now, the deadlines to submit FAFSA applications have been shifted back due to major changes made to the application by the government. For Missouri, students should submit their forms by April 1st of this year to receive priority consideration for better financial support through the Access Missouri grant. This new program was established in the wake of this year's edited form. Caitlin Venta, Director of Affordability for the Missouri College and Career Attainment Network, tells KTBO the group started a new website, mofafsa.org, just to facilitate understanding these changes. We were trying to wrap our heads around them and we knew students, families, and counselors would be as well. And so we wanted good quality information in one place. So we said, let's develop mofafsa.org as the one-stop shop that Missouri students can go to find the information that they need to complete their FAFSA. The changes to the FAFSA include a streamlined process with fewer questions, mainly on financial and tax information. So everyone gives consent and approval for their information to be shared because you filed your taxes. They have all this information. You don't need to type it again. So for most students, that's going to pull over. According to the U.S. Department of Education's student aid website, you need to register for an FSA ID so you can log in and complete your application. Every student and parent should have their own ID to log into the student aid site, and it takes a little bit of time for Social Security to approve them. You should also have documents handy, such as your parents' social security numbers, if you're still a dependent, as well as tax forms, current balances of cash, savings, and checking accounts, as well as current income numbers. You should add any school that you plan on applying to or that you have applied to, even if you haven't been accepted yet. And it's not just for your universities. You can get financial aid for any type of school. So it could be a community college, a four-year university. There are even some short-term training programs that apply. So if you're planning to go to any type of higher education beyond high school in the fall of 2024, you should fill out a FAFSA. In most cases, once a school accepts you, they will then work on developing your aid offer. Numerous resources are available from FSA if you need assistance filling out the form. You can find those resources in this story on our website, ktvo.com. Each college or career school might have differing deadlines for aid, so it's best to contact the school you plan to attend to get the information you need when filling out your FAFSA application. Jordan Barr, KTVO News. Despite all of this help, there's actually a decline in the number of high school seniors filling out FAFSA forms for the 2024-25 school year, including in Missouri and Iowa. That's mainly because of that delay that came from the massive change of the form. We've reached out to a number of schools in the heartland to see what they're doing to get more students to apply and if there's anything a student or their parents can do to make the process easier. We hope to bring you that information in the near future.